What's up? Um, hello everyone, you know it's Trey. Um, I just want to say thank you to everyone. Before I even start discussing the topic I want to discuss in this video, I want to say thank you to everyone that showed me so much support, showed me so much, you know, respect. You know, really what, it was really a, a embraceful moment for me when I had released the documentary via online and, you know, was able to send people the links to it for them to watch it on their computers and etc. And it was really a good response. It was really heartwarming because I put my heart and soul and I open up to that camera and I let you into my life. And I'm very, 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 very happy for the response I got from So, let me tell you, sometimes when we get into relationships, we don't necessarily know what we want. It's the people that know what they want, and then it's the people that kind of know what they want, and it's people that are dead set know what the fuck they want out of this relationship. I'm one of them people. I'm dead set. I know what I want out of a relationship. It's just a matter of the person that I get to try to provide me those products and qualities that I, you know, desire from a relationship, from a person that I'm with. Um, we sometimes find these people from all walks of life and we have this hope in us that, you know, they are that one person that we will be with for how, however long we want to be with that person and we see that this person could change on certain areas of his life or her life or it could be this way and that way but sometimes we think that we can fix up everyone so when we go in to go fix up this person and try to make them of a, a perfection of what we wanted it's morally destroying to us because we don't know how to put up a defense for ourselves we spend so much time giving this one relationship and this one person so much energy that when we do get a chance to actually be with someone that give us the same energy we don't know how to respond to it we don't know how to digest it we don't know how to accept it and it goes to show that when you are in a relationship that's always take 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 and you're not in a relationship that's someone giving you something and you giving back and the cycle relationship you know stays like that you don't know how to digest someone like that you don't know how to digest someone who actually cares for you loves for you really want to be with you want to make sure that you're happy within their relationship i was in a relationship i'm not gonna go into depth of why my relationship ended it was morally on me and i say on me because I'm a type of person that when I'm in a situation that is really in conflict with myself, then the relationship, I want to step away from that. I want to make sure I restore myself. I want to break away from that mold because I don't like being in conflict with myself. If the one thing that I can say with a relationship, with any type of relationship, if me being around you and your presence and it's conflict with myself all the time that shows me the signs that you're not meant to be in my life because if I'm sacrificing happiness or I'm sacrificing this or I'm just sacrificing anything to be in your presence and I'm not giving anything back in return then that shows me that you're not a genuine person you're not a person oh, that's appreciated or you appreciate things that are given to you and I I don't like people like that. I don't like people that take, 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 but never want to give. Or they was at a moment when they give, give, give. And then once they got you, they just want to take, take, take. Or they just don't care anymore. They just stop putting effort into a relationship. And if, a, and if it's an effortless relationship, then it's not going to last. It's not going to last at all. But I say to everyone that's watching is that if you feel as though that you're in a relationship with someone and they are not the one for you, 
and you feel it deep down in your heart, leave because you will cause conflict within your identity. You will cause conflict within every fiber of your being because you're forcing yourself to do something that you don't like. It's different from you liking something and doing it than forcing yourself to do it. Like you, it's just forcing yourself to like this relationship, to be committed to this relationship, to want to help this person or whatever the situation is and you really don't like it. Sometimes you have to think about yourself. Sometimes we do have to be selfish at some points in our life. And I want to cut this video short because I don't want to be so long, but you have to really focus on you, focus on your priorities, focus on your goals, your talents, and make sure that you move beyond expectations of others and you know and do what you have to do to get to the next level in life and that's what I want everyone to take from this video today endorse being you endorse self happiness and if you feel conflict with the person that you with and it's starting to conflict your identity then it's time for you to leave that person alone quick note more vlogs are will, will be will are coming up very 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 soon this month um i'm going to try to continue this i know i was having the pauses because i was doing the documentary film now I'm not filming the documentary anymore so it's gonna be more free time i have other projects coming out with this channel also so it's not gonna be just dedicated to vlogs all the time i'm gonna show off more other talents of me and i just can't wait for you to see there's a new era of me coming and it's coming to a screen near you bye